years after World War II, General Eisenhower asked what the Red Army would need to reach the English Channel. The reply he got was, only shoes. In 1949, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization was formed. It's theory, be prepared, and they'll never attack. Since the creation of NATO, not a single inch of Europe has gone behind the Iron Curtain. Air Commodore Burns of Britain's Royal Air Force is the Deputy Chief of Staff for Air of NATO's second Allied Tactical Air Force. Staff officers are from the Belgian, Netherlands, German and British Air Forces. The youngest member of the NATO Air Forces is the Federal Republic of Germany. She too is contributing to European air defence. Flying instructors teach young NATO pilots. Language is no problem because the official language for all NATO Air Forces is English. Here they become familiar with cockpit layout, instruments, stick and radio. Jet pilots must be 100% fit. They undergo a regular and thorough medical examination. As jets fly at very high altitudes, pilots are tested each year in the high altitude chamber. This is to check their reactions under conditions up to well over 40,000 feet. Should anyone experience breathing difficulties, instructors and medical teams are standing by. To simulate a possible failure in pressurization of the cockpit, the pressure is suddenly changed from 19,000 to over 40,000 feet. At this, the air becomes foggy. of bailing out by means of the ejector seat is practiced on the ground. A pilot must be able to fly in all weathers. This means flying with the help of instruments only. This is practiced in the link trainer, which has all the controls of an aircraft. The pilot is given instructions over the radio and his flying route is recorded by an instrument on the teacher's desk. More advanced pilots have to get in a lot of flying hours in jet aircraft. German Air Force squadrons assigned to NATO are being equipped with the latest American interceptor fighter, the F-104. This can also be used as a fighter bomber and for reconnaissance. Its speed, 1,800 miles an hour. The F-104 has been called the missile with a man in it. Throughout Western Europe, massive radar stations keep a watchful eye on the NATO-controlled airspace. Any aircraft entering this airspace is picked up at once and is shown on the radar screen. Its track is passed to the plotters. If the aircraft is unidentified, it must be intercepted. The jet pilots are in a state of constant readiness. The aircraft has not been identified. The operations officer gives the scramble and within two minutes they'll be airborne.
any light gives the signal to take off. And here they come, Canadians. British. Americans. In the radar station, the tracks of the interceptor fighters are plotted on the upright panel. The fighter controller directs the interceptors by radio onto the position of the unidentified aircraft. Identification is friendly, the fighters peel off and head for home. In modern air defense, speed is a deciding factor. Constant training and practice are essential. Here, the RAF practice the emergency turnaround of an interceptor fighter. It must be refueled, rearmed, reoxygened, and the pilot briefed. All this, from touchdown to takeoff, takes less than 12 minutes. For the air defense of Europe, NATO also has a striking force of guided missiles. These are most effective anti-aircraft weapons, which seek out their target and destroy it. NATO has an air umbrella over Europe, protecting it from attack. These are the famous sky blazers of the United States Air Force. Airmen from 13 different countries work together under the NATO banner. The Italians contribute to the NATO Air Forces. too has squadrons under NATO command. The North Atlantic Treaty contains a clear warning to any would-be aggressor. An attack against any of us is an attack against us all. So NATO provides an insurance policy for the free world until the day when sanity prevails and general disarmament becomes possible. Meanwhile, squadrons of the Royal Air Force are proud to serve under NATO as part of the Air Umbrella over Europe.